The Gemara and Masechet Shabbat taught that a prayer for the first day is added to the Amida on first days in the Shomaya Tefillah blessing in Arbi Chahrit al Minha. This is referring to the paragraph that begins with the word Anenu. And in Masechet Ta'anit, Rabhuna taught that one who accepted a fast upon himself for the following day adds Anenu and Arbit, even though he's not fasting yet that night. This is based on a Baraita that taught. Sometimes we don't add Anenu to the Amidah when we are fasting, like an Arbit after the fast, before we broke the fast. And sometimes we add Anenu to the Amidah when we are not fasting, like an Arbit on the night before a fast. Based on these sources, many authorities ruled that Anenu is added to the Amidah and Arbit before a fast day, even though we don't actually begin fasting until the morning that begins at dawn. These authorities include Rab Amram Gaon, Rab Sa'adya Gaon, Rab Inu Hananel, the Rif, Harambam and Aresponsa, the Rosh, the Ramban, and the Rashba. However, Rab Inu Zirahiyah Levi, a 12th century authority from Spain and southern France, explained that Anenu is only added to the Amidah in Arbit on fasts that begin at night. But when the fast begins in the morning, Anenu is only added to the Amidah in Chahrit al Minha. And the Rashba, who lived in Spain in the 13th century, wrote that the custom in his times was to add Anenu to the Amidah in Chahrit and Minha on fasts that began at dawn, even though he believed that Anenu should be added to Arbit as well. Rashi quoted Geonim, who wrote that the custom is only to add Anenu to the Amidah and Minha on a fast day, since a person might become sick and will be unable to complete the fast. Therefore, they don't want to add Anenu to, to Arbit and Chahrit when they are not sure that they will be able to complete the fast. In Shuhana Ruh, Maran wrote that on the four fasts, meaning on the obligatory fast days, Anenu is included in all of the Amidot because even if one got sick and had to eat, one could still refer to the day as a fast day in the Amidah since the rabbis instituted a fast on these days. Still in all, not all Middle Eastern communities followed Maran regarding adding Anenu and Arbit Chahrit and Minha on a fast day. The Aida wrote that their custom was only to add Anenu to the Amidah and Minha on a fast day. And many wrote that their custom was to only add Anenu in Chahrit and Minha. These authorities include the Bihayim ben Beniste in, the, in 17th century Turkey, the Shohan Gaboa in 18th century Greece, Rabbi Ali Dan Gur in 19th century Baghdad, and Akam Abadiyah Yosef in 20th century Jerusalem. What was the custom in Halab? Mahazor Aram Soba, an Aleppo prayer book that was printed in the year 1527, includes instructions to air Anenu to the Amidah in the Arbit prayers of the 17th of Tammuz, of Som Gedaliah, and on Asara Betebet. And this custom continued in Halab at least until the end of the 18th century. Hakam Haim Atiyah, who was born in Halab in 1751, wrote in his book, Arshota Haim, know that we have the custom here in Aram Soba to say Anenu in all of the prayers and even in Arbit on the night that the fast comes in for the four fasts, like it says in Masih Shabbat. And then Hakam Haim Atiyah continued, and since I see many criticizing this custom, I'm going to expound and validate and maintain our custom that is founded upon the ancients and upon the law of the Talmud. Hakam Hayim passed away in 1795, and it appears that the custom changed in Halab sometime during the 19th century to only recite Anenu in Chahrit and Minha on fast days that begin in the morning. However, adding Anenu on our beat was not only the original custom in Halab, it was also the custom in Yemen, Tunisia, Jerba, Morocco, Libya, and in the city of Izmir in Turkey. As we mentioned, adding Anenu in all of the prayers, including Arbit on the night before the fast, is based on the opinion of many authorities, including Harambam and Maran and Chohan Aruch.